Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 19 here in Boulder Canyon. I'm just taking out our wrapper right here and we're going to go around the field and we're going to wrap up the first lot of bales that we have done. And then once we've done that, we're going to need to start doing all the raking and then once we've done all the raking, we're going to need to go back over again and go through with the baler the second time. Now, I asked you all last week, uh, it wasn't like an official question or anything, but I did ask you all if you wanted me to go and use a Stevie mod for the baler, just to speed things up a little bit with the baler. And the only Stevie mod that I've got, I don't think he's actually done one for that, for the Roll Belt 150, but I do have one available for this baler right here. And you can change the colors. The colors you can choose whatever you want. We would just leave the colors as they are. Uh, foil color, I would change that to black on there. And you can increase the capacity. You can put an extension on that so that you've got a capacity of uh, 8,000 liters instead of the normal uh, 4,000 liters, which I thought would be better. It would definitely speed the whole process up but it's eighty-one thousand dollars to be able to buy that baler now we could go and sell the baler that we've got in order to be able to buy that but our main problem with that is that we would then not be able to feed the sheep because the baler there the um the baler wrapper combo you can't bale grass and leave a grass bale behind. If you bale grass, it will automatically push out. Um, it will automatically wrap it. You can't choose to leave that one behind. So that's the major, major downside to that is that we wouldn't be able to do that. Plus, it costs $81,000 and we don't have $81,000. So we would have to sell the baler we've got in order to be able to cover that price. And then we would be struggling to be able to feed our sheep. I mean, we could go and we could do hay, but we don't have anything to make hay with at the moment. So we'd have to go and buy something else in order to cover that. We can sell a bit more timber and we could go and buy this baler. And it would certainly speed the process up. But we're now, as several people pointed out, if I'm spending 80 grand on this, um, you know, that's... I'm, I'm sort of postponing getting the Ponzi Scorpion and like the whole idea is that we're supposed to be working towards the Ponzi Scorpion. So at the moment I'm a little bit torn. Oh and the general consensus is don't go digging any trenches down through this field just yet. Leave that be and search for the tree stumps over in this side of the field after we've gone and cleared all of the trees up there. We, we don't want to worry about that just yet. There's, there's something that we should be worrying about later and not at the moment. So we'll leave the whole tree stump thing. We won't get involved with doing any of that. Um, but yes, as far as the baler is concerned, I think we will leave it this time and we will go and bale this field with the standard baler that we've got so that we can see what it's going to be like and then probably next time we will buy that other baler. I know it's going to be pushing things back and we don't really want to be doing that. But if you think about the amount of grass that we're going to be taking off of this field, um, like especially next time, once we get a full harvest, it's, it's plus 50%. A load of people did some testing. In particular, Patreon Grace Mark, thank you very much. He did a very um, thorough test on that. He... he set out a, a particular section of grass and did it all liter by liter and he got exactly 50 percent extra he did all that you know saved it and bailed it and say uh, not bailed it uh, picked it all up and then saved it again and then went back and and so on and so forth and compared the two and the difference between the first harvest stage for grass and the second harvest stage is an additional 50 percent over the first one um, when you come to cut the second one. So whatever we get off of this section, plus 50% of the number of bales that we get. So, I mean, just down this one side, we had two up the other end, and then you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bales down here already, uh, eight, nine, you could probably say 10, and then two around there makes 12. So plus 50% on there, we'd be looking at 18 bales around this outside edge just for this bit. 
and that's with the standard 4,000 litre bales. So it would probably be better if we did have the bigger baler with the bigger capacity with the 8,000 litre bales. It would almost definitely be better if we had that, but we want to keep the smaller baler purely because we still need to be able to feed the sheep. And I don't really want to turn all of this into hay because we've got nowhere to store hay and we're not going to be storing... Well, we could store... Round bales, we could store it outside. So we could go through and we could bale hay. Right, I could turn all of this field and we could do a whole load of hay and we could store one lot of it and that could be what we feed our sheep with. But I don't know if we want to do that. Not at the moment anyway. You know, we, we can cut grass as and, as and when. Um, although, you know, now that I think about it, this might not be such a bad idea. If we were to do hay, we could do the outside three rounds for silage then do the main bulk of the field with hay, get a get a hay turner and, and bale that up, and then um, go through and get a load of bales of hay, and then and and then we've got hay stored. And round bales, we can line them up along the edge of the field. We can store round bales, right? Hay we, we, with um, we don't have to put them on the edge of the field. We can take them back to the yard or something like that. We've got that trailer over there. There is actually another trailer that I have now got that has got an auto load script on it, which will be absolutely fantastic. And we will probably trade the bale, the, the bale trailer that we've got and get a different one. And I'll just show you that one very quickly if it's there. It's under auto load. We've got these right here. Um, they've, all, they've all got auto load on them and they're relatively cheap as well. Like that one there. Standard uh, mit af bau. I, I don't know what that means. I'm guessing that means it's got the the lades front and back, and then that one there doesn't have the lades. That's just like that. So we wouldn't get that one. We would get this one, which would better accommodate the round bales. Uh, but it does have an auto load feature with it, and it was being used on the multiplayer server on my um, last FS70, FS19, sorry, uh, live stream. And incidentally, it has now been decided that all of my FS19 live streams are going to be on that uh, multiplayer server. The admins have decided that yes, they would like to um, do that on the server. They are going to be able to have the time to set that up and keep that going. So that's going to be a, for the moment, a permanent thing where we will be doing the multiplayer on our live streams every two weeks so it'll be a, it'll be moving along a little bit faster that particular little series every two weeks we'll get another two hour live stream on that so that we can move things along with it and also I, I didn't actually use it but I did see somebody using it in the background we did have somebody running around with that auto load trailer that auto load pack I don't know where the download link is for that one I will have to try and find it I don't have it in the description at the moment um, if you join the discord and you have a look on the multiplayer server you get the details on the discord um, the that pack is included in the download list it's in the mods list for the server but it was picked up by one of the admins so I don't know where they got it from um, so I don't currently have a download link for that pack but it was being used successfully on the multiplayer server which is absolutely brilliant so we will try that one on here and we can replace that trailer that we've got over there because that trailer whilst it's good you can't really unload the bales. So if we, after this, if for our next cut, if we do go and make some hay so that we can sell the baler that we've got and we can sell this wrapper as well. So we'll sell this wrapper, we'll sell that baler and we'll sell that trailer as well. Then we can go and get some bales of hay and we'll be able to unload the bales of hay somewhere other than just tipping them because that one only unloads onto the trailer and then you've got to tip them off afterwards. And that's not ideal, really, is it? This is not really something that we want to be doing too often. So we've got three items that we would need to be able to take back to the dealership. And, well, actually, I'm thinking about this. We ought to be able to put this wrapper up on the back of that trailer. Right? That's 
That is something that we ought to be able to do. We ought to be able to get that trailer there. We'd be able to get this wrapper up onto the back of that trailer. I think that we could do that. All right, I do think that's something that we'd be able to do. So let's just stop that one a minute. Um, yeah, we, we won't start that one going just yet. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to here and I'm going to get that one. And I'm going to unhitch that one. A lot of people have been practically begging me to go and get a pressure washer. Um, like... The, I have had a lot of people asking me to get a pressure washer. You're all getting very, very concerned about the lack of pressure washer that we've got on this farm. So in order to keep the bulk of people happy, I am going to go and I'm going to make a small purchase right now. Karcher pressure washer, 4,500. And a lot of you have been begging me to get this pressure washer, right? Uh, uh, seriously, a lot of you really, really want me to get this pressure washer. So I'm going to get it. And uh, I'm going to place it down. We're going to put it down over here somewhere, I think. Uh, right on the edge. I think I've actually still got the Place Anywhere mod active, which I shouldn't have. But I'm not... Mm. Actually, no, we don't want to put it there because it's going to be too close to the infeed area for that. And that wouldn't... We wouldn't want that. Because we don't want it too close to the storage over there. We don't want it too close to the fuel bowser because that area there is, is for the fuel. So, I'm thinking, actually, the best place for the... There we go. I want to rotate it around like this. The best place for this one would actually be on the edge of this building over here. I think that would be the best place. On the edge of this, this shed right here. If we, if we were to put the pressure washer out over here... I'm thinking that would be a good location for it. We can wash things down out over there, look. And we can bring them up onto the track and we can wash things down here. It's got water supply from the shed over there. And it can be wheeled back into the shed as and when it needs to be. Uh, this is not a bad place. I mean, yes, ideally we want a little bit of hard standing for it. But, I mean, I've had places that I've worked where we've literally had a setup like this we just drive up next to it on the actual just just the farm track it doesn't have to have a, a particularly strong bit of hard standing set up for anything um so it would work like that that would be an acceptable way of doing it I think I think I think that we could do it like that right let me just refresh myself what are we operating position is just uh just go for B right so press B for operating position, and then we go around and we load up all of these bales. And then once we've done that... Oh, wait. No. Wait. Hang on a minute. Let me stop you a second. I've got... I, I missed two bales. There's two bales over in the middle by the, the rock in the middle. I, I completely forgot about them. Let's back up a minute. Get you on. Right. Start unfolding you as we go on round here. Like that. And there's two bales over the other side. It's, it's because I came round here and then I, I completely forgot about them. But there are indeed two bales up here that we want to pick up and move. Because otherwise they're going to be in the way. We got Yeah. There we go. Right. So we'll come up here and we will grab that one like that. Start wrapping it. I'll put it in here close to the rock and we'll come up and we'll grab it with the other tractor and trailer in a minute. So we'll drop that one there and then we'll do the same with the other one as well. So put that there. Okay, there's that one done. Uh, so yes, my plan, I think, is we will stick with the baler we've got for this one harvest um, so that we're not reliant on it too much um, and then once we've done this one harvest we will then go and it, it give us an idea of just how much time we're saving as well and I think that's a good thing it, it sort of helped to put it into perspective that that money is actually well spent so we we're, we will do all of it with what we've got at the moment and then after this one we will sell that trailer we will sell this wrapper and we will sell that baler We'll sell all three of them, 
And in their place, we will buy a wrapper baler combo that has a larger capacity bale. So basically, it's just one that will do bigger bales. I mean, it doesn't physically look bigger, uh, but I'm, I'm actually quite happy to do that because round bales do come in multiple sizes. You can get all sorts of different size round bales. So I'm, I'm quite happy to go and get something like that. Um, and that will just reflect that we've got a different type of round baler that's producing bigger round bales. And uh, these are 4,000 litre bales. And the increased capacity is an 8,000 litre bale. It's not going to be double the width. Right, it's it's uh, maybe the bale would be a little bit wider as well than this one is, um, but the diameter of the circle is not going to be double what it is at the moment. It doesn't actually have to be all that much bigger in order to go from four thousand to eight thousand. If even if the width of the bale stayed exactly the same, and um, so yes. You know, it, we don't have any visual increase on the size of the bale, which is a little bit unfortunate, but when we don't really have the mods here to cope with that kind of thing anyway. Um, but it would be... It wouldn't be hugely different. So I'm, I'm reasonably happy with that. Just to leave it like it is. Right, if this trailer actually takes 36 bales, does it stack them all up that way up? on all 30 like uh, uh, does it go for three stacks of three layers of bales up like that that seems excessively high for silage bales not sure that you would actually take silage bales up that high um you might with you might with hay but you wouldn't with silage bales this this would be about the limit with silage bales i would think it's very rare that you would see silage bales stacked any more than that except in a field and, and that would be it. Right, so if I switch off that. See right here we've got operating. I've got fasten and unfasten belts. I can unload bales here. And that unloads them straight onto the trailer like that. And then if I... Oh no, wait, it didn't unload it. Uh, ah, we go. There we go. Right, I, I pressed the button too fast or something. Uh, and then I can put that onto there. So I've now got these bales loaded up onto this trailer right here. Um, just want to have a look at the price right now, right this very second. Yeah, it's because it's, sta it, it's starting to come down. 292 is already dropping, and it's dropping faster than we really want. Uh, we're we're going to end up losing money on this. The price that it is right now, that's the price that we really want. So I'm going to take these bales here. And I'm going to sell them immediately. I'm not going to wait. I'm going to bring them straight on to this point, And I'm going to sell these bales immediately without waiting. So we'll bring you up onto there. And I'll take the straps off. And then we're going to need to go... Um, control I like that. And I'm going to need to tip these bales right off. And this is why I don't particularly like this trailer. Right? We're selling the bales... And they're selling for over a thousand dollars each, which is absolutely fantastic. There we go. It's another fourteen. So we got sixty-eight thousand nine hundred and ninety for those bales right there. And we probably, by the time we've gotten the bales all bailed up now, I don't think we're going to be getting anywhere near that. Uh, unfortunately, the grass has already grown. This is another downside to this, is that the, like the, the speed that time goes by. So I am wondering, this week I'm going to ask, obviously I can't um, see what your responses are until after I've um, recorded this week's, uh, recorded the week's episodes. Um, but what I'm wondering is, would you be happy for me to change the rule ever so slightly? Now, I do say the only time I can go to one-time speed is when I am actually um, planting. So that we have an even coverage of plant all the way across. But I'm asking, should I change my rule one more, just, just one more adjustment, to say that, like, while we're dealing with grass on the ground, we can also change it. So that we don't have this scenario. 
where we've got grass. Like, by the time we started mowing, and now it's moved on to this, you can see we've got an awful lot of... Like, the, the grass has grown an awful lot. And you don't really want grass grown this much when you're trying to do your harvest, do you? Right? You, you wouldn't have it grown this much normally. And it's going to make life rather difficult for us to see what's going on. So, would you be happy for me to slow time down to one time speed while we're doing the grass? Or would you prefer me to not do that and just stick with what we've got? Right, it's trying to stop there. I'm guessing that maybe there's a stump there somewhere. Um, I've still got a little bit of grass that I'm picking up there. I haven't now. So, we'll bring that one round and it should now automatically go through everything. So if I bring that one up like that, over to here, about to there I think, and I'll just press H on there. That should be over far enough with the wheel on that side. Yep, it's gathering that up quite nicely. We'll ride this one down to the other end and then as soon as we get there we will go and get our baler and we will start doing all of the baling. Um, so yes, what is your opinion on me slowing down time to one time speed, like from when I start doing mowing? If I, if I get the mower going, uh, slow time down so that we don't end up with a whole load of grass growing across our field like this, because this has kind of spoiled the effect of it. One thing though... Like, that price is steadily dropping down, and obviously if I'm going to slow time down, it's going to affect that. And um, the whole idea is the time keeps going forward so that uh, we, we can't sort of freeze it too much. Um, you know, I took a gamble to go and start doing the crop right now, and then the price has started dropping. Um, by the time we get these bales done, that price will have dropped a little bit. I don't know how much the price would have dropped, but it will have dropped a bit. So it'll be interesting to see just how much it has dropped by the time we get the bales done and, and ready to pick up. Uh, that one's going to carry on, so we can flick over to this one. Because it's hired help working on that one. And we can get straight onto the baler and we can get going with that. We will clean our machinery, but we will do it after the harvest. We will do it after we've got the silage done because we're running out of time. We, we, we are up against the clock at the moment. This is like, you know, there's, there's pros and cons, I think, with the whole um, should we or shouldn't we. Because, you know, it, in favour of doing it, it means that we don't get the grass growing like this. But against doing it, it means that, you know, we, we don't have that sense of urgency. We've, we've got a sense of urgency at the moment. Um, we need to get a move on. We, we've got X amount done. And the grass is growing. Time is ticking by. The prices are dropping. We do need to get a move on, don't we? Um, I like the idea of having a Stevie mod. Because 8,000 litres in a bale, that's going to make a significant difference. I think the Stevie baler will go faster... Uh, but I'm not sure about that. Uh, whether it does or it doesn't, it doesn't really matter. Because if you're bailing up 8,000 litres, by the time it's finished going through its wrap cycle, um, we're, we're still not going to have finished gathering up the next bale. So that bit's not really going to make any difference to us. Okay, I've gathered everything down there. So we will lift up the, um, the end. And I'll bring that round. And I'm going to go down this one here. Let's try going down this one here by actually going up through the row. Like that. There we go. Right, so now we're going to start to get a really good idea of just how many bales we can get off of this field up here. Um, I mean, we already had a reasonable idea. I'm, I was wondering where that tractor had gotten to. I didn't realise... That bit down there was quite as steep as that. It, like, completely vanished for a minute, and I was genuinely wondering where that tractor had gone. He's also extended out this way. He's, like, he is coming over this way by quite a long way. He's fine, though. He's absolutely fine. He's, he's, there's no issues there whatsoever. Uh, it'll be interesting to see if he's going to go all the way past that rock and then just do the short sections there. 
or if he's going to do the long sections. We probably want it to do the long sections, actually. So we might have to just flick over to that one and guide it through. And then we'll do the short sections right at the end after we've done all the rest of it. Um, run that round there. I suppose it doesn't really matter either way. If it gets the short work done, uh, then the short work is done. And then it can go back to doing the longer work. Does it matter? I genuinely don't know if it's really going to make much difference. I would have thought that maybe it would be better if it did the long runs first. No, if, if, as we're in a little bit of a hurry, if you got the long runs done before it did the short runs, maybe that would be better. But other than that, I don't think it makes much difference. It might just make our life a little bit more convenient, that's all. You know what, we'll, we'll, we'll let it do what it's going to do. Whatever it decides to do, we'll let it carry on and do it, and then we will... Oops. We will go along and we'll pick up whatever bit is left in the field afterwards. So it's gone all the way up there. I reckon now it'll do short work and then it will uh, start doing the long runs again. So we'll finish up on this field with those few long runs there uh, just at the end of it. And we'll just keep chasing along behind the the man doing the rowing up. It's probably the best way. We'll let him decide. Just, just for once, we won't micromanage everything. And we'll let the man on the... The machine over there. We'll let him decide. We'll act like we actually trust him to do his job. And sometimes that can make a difference. Some people are generally that they're a lot happier if you behave like you do actually trust them. Um, I know that I'm generally happier if, if I'm working for someone and they do behave like they actually trust me to do my job. It does generally give me a better feeling deep down inside. But we'll see what he's like. He may be missing a whole load of bits up here. And if he is, then we're going to want to have a word with him, aren't we? We're going to need to have a little word in his ear. If he's missing a whole load of stuff. Either that or we'll just do another round around the outside of the rock once uh, everything else is done. And we can sort of tidy it up ourselves. Uh, there's certainly a big chunk missing up here. Up this... Yeah, he's... He is missing quite a big piece. And I think we're going to have to sort of try and tidy that. I think really we wanted to do three times around the outside of that one instead of just the twice that we did. So lesson learned there. Yeah, we, we definitely want to do once more around the outside. When we come to do the field again, I mean, obviously on our next pass on this field... Um, we're talking about doing hay now, so we'll do three times, maybe even four times. Actually, I'll probably do four times, but four times around the outside, four times around the rock as well. Um, and then after we've done that, the rest of it we will turn and make into hay. So we get several rounds around the outside with silage, and then the rest is done into hay. And we will do that many rounds because... Otherwise, it's, it's just not really worth it. Um, I say not really. It's, it's We make a bit of profit from the silage. And then we've also got hay kept back. But the, the amount of hay that we're going to be keeping back is quite substantial. We're not going to have to worry about making any more for a very long time. Uh, but we are still going to want to make a little bit of hay. And... Yeah, I, th I think that would be right. I think maybe four times. I mean, maybe we should just do, like, half of the field for hay. We go three times around the outside, then do half of the field over there for hay, and then this half of the field over here we do for silage anyway, and we don't bother doing this for hay over here. Uh, we don't do any of it at all. And that way we get a nice lot of silage bales to sell. We've still got a decent quantity of hay because you get several bales off of that and I think our few sheep that we've got at the moment it's going to take them a while to get through that and then by the time we're looking at producing more hay on top of what we've got uh, that what we would make at the moment um, we'll be in a position where we can afford a big square baler and we're going to want a big square baler for when we come to doing normal hay and, and other stuff like that right if he's going over there, let me just tab over to him a minute. Uh, nope, don't drop down there. This is going to go from the other side. So, what I want to do here... I want to come over this way. 
I'm going to do once more around the outside of this rock. Like this. I'm just going to do it like that. And then I'm going to come straight up there like that. To give me enough room to turn, I'm hoping. I'm hoping this will give me enough room to do any turning round that I need to do. I'll bring that one up like that. And I'll bring you down here. See, we've got quite a lot right there on that one run there. So I'll pick that one up. Actually, yeah, I'm just going to run that all the way down. Because it, it spreads it apart and then puts it back together again. And I don't really like that. It's slightly annoying um, thing about this uh, particular type of rake. And also it chucks it way, way behind when you um, put the thing down. So we'll leave it down on the ground like this. And I'll come up over there. And then go round. Like that. And tidy that one up once more. There. That's, it's not ideal. That's definitely not ideal. But I think we can sort of go with it like that. Uh, so this one, it came up this way. And then... He stopped at the rock and he turned around. So if I start from here, it should match the other runs... That have been done on the rest of this. And I will very quickly go through with that baler and just gather up the rest of it. So I will go to about there and tell that one to carry on. Like that. And then I'll come over to here and I will get you. And I will just go and get that bit of a run down there. I'll do that in a second. What I'm going to do is I'm going to run along here and I'm going to fill up this bale. Which is very, very nearly almost done right there. And we will empty that one out. Right there like that. And then we will go down over here and we'll close that down. And I will run over here. Actually, if I leave that bit of grass right there, that might help it in a minute. Might help it decide to do the right thing. All I want to do is I want to gather up this little bit right here. Let's, let's try and actually stick to the line, though. I go up through there and I get that bit. But anyway, I've run out of time for today's episode, so we'll be able to finish our bailing in the next episode, I would think. I don't see any reason why we won't. We've got just about all of it done now anyway. Um, so we can finish the bailing and we can get the wrapping done. We've got timber on the ground that we do need to pick up as well. as another thing that we're going to have to do. Uh, but we'll worry about that in our next episode. So if you've enjoyed this episode, then please hit down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Prithgar. Goodbye and see you later.